was an uh, arm shot. That's a good shot. Here's my arrow, 76 yards shot. Here's our bison. Wow. What have I done? Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the size. Oh my gosh, Ray. What Here I am. This is my Grizz. I got him last night. Going off of uh, a... Uh, dead walrus. And I ambushed him in the grass and got about a 20 yard shot. Uh, he swam across his channel, it was just before dark. But uh, here's, look at them beautiful claws. And I got him with my white buffalo takedown recurve. Yay, and I used a woodsman broadhead this time. Muzzy always did me good, but I wanted to change and kind of, so I used the woodsman. But this little buffalo, it's a 60 pound bow. Uh, got a complete pass through at uh, about 20 yards. And this is my fifth grizzly bear with the bow, but this is my first one ever with the Reaper. I'm using the Fred Eichler. Uh, Easton carbon shaft, 340, and a 175 Woodsman broadhead. I think that's a female, I think. The males have black tips on the backs, 
her on the ends of their horns. Okay, there they got spooked. There they go. Well, didn't see if he got a Okay, there they got, they got spooked. There they go, there they go. Well, didn't see if he got a shot with that. Wow, and the tundra is starting to change now. It's more yellow than it was two weeks ago. A lot more red. Only one arrow out of the quiver. All right, excellent shot. About a uh, 35 yard shot. Yeah. Uh, and why don't you tell them quick why hunting a herd is harder than hunting a lone bull? Well, a lone bull, you can pretty much get ahead of him and figure out his travel route. But with the, the herd, uh, it's a little more difficult because the muskox, they all group together uh, and face you quite often. And so they were just fixed to do that. And this bull was the closest one. So <coughs> as hard as <coughs> we've hunted for these muskox, Leslie. We rode hunting last night after work. We got home at 3 in the morning, got up at 7 how this happened was our pastor's uh, son was up here. I talked to him, he said he saw the herd right here. And I believe it's the same herd we saw the day or the day before. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're thanking the Lord for it. Uh, thank the Lord. Sweet, most of all, thank the Lord. And, uh, just, uh, just very, very, yeah, should we get some should we get some pictures? Lord, please give him a shot. Oh my word, is that close? shoot the other one. Yes, congratulations. To you too, thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, we uh, got a great day to get him, huh? We did. We didn't get the big one, no. I got a little impatient, but we're real, I'm thankful for this opportunity. Yep. And uh, we're really just real thankful for it. So we're going to little bit of close, he's probably, uh, I'd probably say six yards from me. Boy, it, it looked really close on the video. We got good penetration on the arrow. And yep. So, uh, I think we're going to, today is August the 2nd. Yep. And we explained leaving the cabin earlier today and spotting them. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, skin him out and quarter him and get him to town and come back up and do a little caribou hunting for a week, huh? Sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay. All right.